All right, so guys, today we're gonna start setting up our uh, some of our other key components. We do have the CPU block right here. This will uh, essentially sit on top of your CPU, thermal compound underneath, and then we'll have the liquid cooling passing the liquid through the fins, and that will essentially keep your CPU cool. We also have the reservoir. All right, we'll be putting that in place as well. And we also have the GPU block. This will sit on top of our graphics card, and uh, essentially liquid will pass through cools the fin, cool the components of the graphics card. Before we get into that, I wanna show you guys a key component that came with the Corsair Hydro series. So essentially it's a hub for your RGB as well as your fan. So um, I do have three fans up top, one in the back, and I do have two that I'll be putting in, in the front, uh, kind of a semi push pull system in the front for the radiator. But this guy's gonna control everything from fan speed to RGB. So you can put up to four um, temperature sensors on this unit, guys, and uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's right here. Plugs into the ports on the actual Commander Pro. Put the lead somewhere and it'll just monitor temperature. So if you guys have a specific spots that you want it to monitor as far as your temperature, you do have that option. So you do have two USB ports and that's just spare in case you run out on your motherboard. Now further down, we do have our SATA connector or SATA power. So this will go to our power supply and we do have a USB that will go to the motherboard. Now top, you do have the individual fans, guys. So one through six, so six ports for the fans. You wanna run this in sequence, guys, which will make sense. Some of the effects uh, will be off if you don't run it in sequence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you definitely wanna run that in order. Now further down, you do have LED controls and that's for the fans as well. Now on the Commander Pro, I have one of these fan splitters connected as well. If you look in this port right here, this is uh, one of the fan splitters. Put your fans in here. Um, you do still have to supply power to it and then this will go to the Commander Pro and it's in port one right here. So that's a basic overview. Like I said, uh, Commander Pro will allow you to um, use software once you build a PC to actually control your lights, control your fans, and it's a pretty cool addition to this build. So the reason I mentioned the Commander Pro is because a lot of these um, components that I mentioned will be actually plugging into the Commander Pro and that will help with RGB effects. I do try to manage the cable while I'm working on the build, guys. That way when I get to the end, I have a better time trying to uh, make sense of everything. So for now, I'm just gonna leave these plugged in, but First thing I'm gonna work on is the CPU block. Let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. All right, instruction manual. Also have your warranty guide. So here's the CPU block guys and um, pretty simple. Here's the main unit right here. So you can see we do have that um, plug-in that will go into our Commander Pro. Um, but all this is RGB as well, guys. If you look closely, you can see that the fins are inside and that will essentially run over your CPU and keep everything cool. On the flip side, what a lot of these companies are doing, they're putting thermal compound directly on the block. So all I need to do essentially is just pull this plastic piece off, put it on top of my CPU, and I should be good to go. Now we do also have the mounting kit and um, essentially this will go in the back of the board, so that will be right here. You'll run the screws through and then this will go in the front, then you'll secure it. So let's go ahead and get that set up first. First thing you notice is that the one that comes in when you line it up, it does not match the screw hole. So uh, good thing about this is that they did send this guy. We'll need to take this mount off and put a new one in. So essentially this piece pops off like so. And then this, you push down, turn, that comes off. Now just very carefully, we'll put the new one back in. And now we should um, have the screw holes lined up. So let me go ahead and put uh, the protector back on. So the CPU block is installed as you can see right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and get the GPU block installed 
on the NVIDIA 2070 Super. So let's go ahead, we're gonna open this guy up. Beautiful card, guys. So all this will remain the same essentially. What we're gonna do is take out the fan portion and then we're gonna go ahead and install the GPU block. So this is our GPU riser or PCIe extender. And uh, where this is gonna come in handy, guys, uh, it's gonna essentially allow me to be able to mount my graphics card sideways. It's gonna go right here basically, come down right here, back into the graphics card, if that makes sense. This is um, beautiful. <laughs> Does have a, a flow indicator right here, which is essentially just a wheel, let you know that everything's running. Do have the heat sink right here, and like I said, liquid will flow all the way through, and that will keep your GPU cool. On the flip side, we have one connector here. This is for the RGB, of course. We do have a thermal compound here, here, and here, and also right here. So essentially, I won't need to add anything. All I need to do is get this on top, place it on the graphics card, and I should be good to go. I can see I do have my ports here on the back. I do have the wiring for the RGB coming out the side. I went ahead and installed the plug in the back and uh, two water lines will go in the top, in and out, and it will circulate through the system. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in my case, but first I wanna make sure that the CPU riser or the PCIe extender has been installed. So it's gonna go in like this, guys. So let's go ahead and get that installed first. It does take a little bit of force. There we go. So it is installed now. It does take a little bit of force, but once you get it in, we can work on getting the GPU installed and it will sit something like that. So before we do that, we're gonna take out the two. Go ahead and unscrew these. This part will go ahead and slide out. So we do have an open slot right there. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So as far as the GPU, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this part out, guys. GPU is gonna sit directly in and it should go ahead and snap in as well. So there we go, all secured. So once that's secured, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this is sitting properly here. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and secure this screw as well. This is gonna be the main power to our GPU. So let's go ahead and get it in one and this is going to be our six pin so the next part of the installation is going to be the pump this is the xd5 rgb from the hydro series from uh corsair so let's go ahead and see what's in the box have a manual do we have a mounting bracket warranty guide do we have uh, some more mounting bracket Look like we have a sensor right here. A lot of screws. Plugs. Here 
Here's the pump itself. I'll put it to the side for now. We also have the bracket for the pump. So essentially this is gonna sit right here. And um, after that, we gotta worry about the tubing and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Thank you. 